So we know that labeling your products and assets is a vital part of your process. But are you wasting time and resources with your current labeling strategy? Implementing a print-on-demand solution gives you the flexibility to print the labels you need only when you need them. Today you'll see the CAD Squix Thermal Transfer Printer. This system is affordable, versatile, RFID capable, and you can even add an applicator to make it a print and apply system. So keep watching and listen close because we got John to reveal the biggest mistake he sees people making with the thermal transfer printers. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. The Squix printer is the newest printer from Cab Technologies. It comes in three different sizes and different versions. The version I have for you today is the Squix P. The P stands for peel. You would use this printer in a manufacturing environment where you have somebody handling and labeling product at the same time. One of the great cost-saving benefits of having a printer like the Squix printer is reducing your label inventory. Let's say you use four different labels throughout the day. Well, you have those in inventory on your shelf. Well, if you have a thermal transfer printer like the Squix, you could have the label formats on your computer and just one roll of blank labels. That's your inventory, one roll of blank labels. I have to point out the color LCD display on the Squix printer. It mimics an iPhone and it really makes it easy to navigate through the printer settings. And I also like the bifold door, which allows the printer to be put in a tight spot and you can still gain access to the labels and the ribbon. I have to note that the print mechanism has been rebuilt from the A4 Plus. It's much more robust and industrial and I really like this, the look of this and how this operates. Um, anything green on any of these green adjustments within the printer is a tracking adjustment. So this is the margin stop. This keeps your roll of labels in the printer. You have these two green knobs, which are your ribbon tension and your print head up and down. Now, anything red on the printer, I would call media tracking adjustments. So you have your label guide here, which is gonna hold your label tight as it goes through the printer and your print head pressure, which allows you to adjust how much pressure is on your print head. What I really like about this printer is you're able to remove the, the label sensor in case you get a label stuck or you have adhesive, which happens, you have adhesive buildup on your uh, media sensor and it starts skipping labels, you're able to remove it, clean it with isopropyl alcohol and reinsert your sensor and you're back in business again printing. So as I stated earlier, this is the Squix 4P and the P stands for peel. Uh, another version of this printer is the 4.3 version, which has a more industrial print head. And that printer is intended for printing direct thermal media, which does not use a ribbon. I also like the modular construction of this printer which allows you to add a cutter or a perforator or a stacker and you can even make it into an applicator. So if you have one of these printers you could probably hook it up to your network and print from your information system or you could uh, connect it USB to a laptop and print labels with one of the many label software packages that are out there, but a really neat way to, to utilize this printer is to store formats within the printer and access them through this LCD display and you would really have a standalone unit where it's not necessary to even have it hooked up to anything. As you can see, the Squix printer is very versatile. It's the printer I would choose if I was printing on small labels. It can print on a four millimeter height label. It's also available with RFID. So the Squix printer is really a jack of all trades printer. You might see it 
in an industrial situation where they are using labels to label printed circuit boards or type plates. There's an MT version of this printer that prints on textiles such as Tyvek or heat shrink tubing. You might see it in an automotive parts factory labeling brake pads or brake calipers. And I know I've talked about how industrial this printer is, but it's really a good fit for the healthcare market if you have to print small labels like those that go on tubes. Okay, I've talked a lot about this Squix printer today, and I really do like the printer, but it does have some limitations. Like this cover, the spy-fold cover that I like, I really wish it was metal for industrial applications. And also, it has this little nifty tool here that's so well hidden that a lot of people can't find it, but it is right here. And this tool can adjust the print head and the print head pressure, and in the wrong hands of somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, they can misadjust the printer, causing print problems. So I recommend removing this tool and keeping it in a desk drawer where a novice can't find it. And lastly, just to, uh, to point out about thermal transfer printing in general, the printers are made to run with the covers closed, okay? A lot of places that I've been to over the last 24 years servicing printers have the covers open because what else? It operates as a neat shelf for your spare labels and ribbons. So remember, don't use it as a shelf and print with your cover closed. I like the Squix printer because it's affordable. It's half the cost of the competitor's printer. So for a four inch, 300 DPI industrial printer, CAB does it best for less. The Squix 4 printer, it's modular, it's industrial, and it's the printer I would choose if I had to print on small labels. It's also affordable. If you'd like more information on thermal transfer printers, please click on the link in the description to get to our blog.